Okay, welcome back to a new LaTeX tutorial. Uh, in the previous video, I explained how you can draw Feynman diagrams. Yeah? Uh, and I think it was quite successful. Many of you did not know that it's possible and uh, I received many clicks. So I decided now to make another LaTeX tutorial uh, about how to draw electrical circuits with LaTeX. And I think this is quite nice because um, it's, uh, it's quite easy and you don't have to use very complicated software like Eagle, for example, to draw only a, a circuit. And you can also do more labeling here. The, the layout looks quite beautiful. The labeling is easy. So I think um, if you have never done this before, I, I suppose you give it a try. And with the help of this tutorial, which I make now, you should be able to create every kind of electrical circuit, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Um, and as usual, we directly dive into the topic. So I created now a new file called circuit.tech. And uh, yeah, as usual, um, we create a new document by writing document class. And we use again our famous standalone class that I have introduced several times now. And um, then we also want to uh, include a package here, which is called uh, circuit circuit ticks. Yeah. So it's basically also uh, based on uh, on, on uh, ticks like for example um, uh, Feynman, how, how we can create Feynman diagrams but in this case it's just an additional package um, related to electrical circuits yeah uh, so yeah this is everything what we have to include now we can directly uh, start with begin document and um, yeah and then again we have to write here a ticks picture uh, because uh, it's actually based on this as i said before Okay, now we can start to add our electrical parts. So um, there are some parts which have to be created as nodes, for example, a transistor. And there are parts which you have to insert as wires. And these are, for example, um, yeah, dipole uh, parts such as resistors, coils, capacitors, and so on. Yeah? But um, I, I decided now to use an example of a transistor circuit because there most of the parts will be included that you also have to use maybe in the future. And uh, it will quite will be beneficial for learning uh, most of the important parts. Okay, so the, the first thing which I would like to do, I would like to create a transistor and not at zero zero, but uh, maybe at uh, 2.50. So 2.5 millimeter, 2.5 centimeter shifted in x direction. Yeah, And uh, then we have to add a transistor as a node, as I said. So we just have to write here node. And then the type of the transistor, for example, NPN. Uh, you can also use PNP. You can insert field effect transistors and so on. But I think NPN is one of the uh, easiest ones. And then we can also give that a name, this node, for example, T. And we can also give this, as usual, a labeling. And maybe we call it T1. And if I have not done any mistake here and I compile this, then you see here now on the uh, in the preview, we have now our very nice transistor. OK, um, and uh, yeah, in order to do something with this, uh, we have to know what is base, what is emitter and what is collector. So usually I like to label them in advance. Yeah? So it will be later easier to refer to that. So what we can write now here is T dot base. This is implemented in LaTeX already in uh, circuit ticks. So uh, it, the package knows what is the base of the transistor. And we want to maybe insert a node here above and we want to give the name B for base. And now you see we have here our base. And the same we can also do, of course, for the collector. And there we would maybe uh, place it left to the transistor and we call that C for collector. And the same we can do for emitter. And again, we want to place this left and we call that E for emitter. Yeah, and now we have labeled all that and later we know now to which connections we have to draw wires. Okay, so the first thing which I would like to do is drawing a uh, um, a cable, a wire from zero zero to the base of the transistor. Yeah? So we can do this in the following way. We can just write draw zero zero as usual. Um, if you if you are unfamiliar with this uh, syntax, you should go to my tutorial about ticks. There I'm explaining about these nodes, about drawing commands and so on. So after that, you will be familiar with that. So now <clears throat> at zero zero, I would like to uh, or let's let's before I create a node, just draw a wire from 0, 0 to 
and now we can reference that t base uh, to the base of our transistor and now you can see we have here just a um, cable and if we want to have instead a cable we want to insert maybe a a uh, resistor, a uh, coil, a transistor, uh, sorry, a capacitor, a coil, a resistor, and so on. Then we have to insert this here uh, as uh, with the command 2. So we have to replace this here, these two dashes, with 2. And then in rectangular brackets, we have to write, for example, R for resistor or C for capacitor. And then we want to maybe also add a label, and this we will do with L, with the parameter L. So we can write L equal to maybe C1. And when you do this, now we have here our capacitor C1. Now, as I said, you can also do the same with, for example, R. Then you will get this resistor here. But in this case, we want to use C. I don't know whether this makes sense from the uh, from the physics point of view, from electrical point of view. Uh, I am just do it now to, yeah, to show you a little bit more variety in that. So we insert here this capacitor. So what we also want to do now, we want to insert here an electrical connection. Yeah? just an uh, yeah, hollow uh, circle. Yeah? So this we can do with a node. So we can write here uh, O circ and we don't want to give any labeling so we have to write in this way and now you can see here this uh, empty circle. If you remove this O here in front of circ you will get a filled one but this is wrong. Yeah? So we in this case we just want to call it O circ. Okay? And uh, yeah, this is our first connection which we have created, including a capacitor. And now I would like to make a connection to the collector of the uh, of the um, transistor. So here I would write to draw T collector, and then we want to insert a resistor. So again, we write two R L equal R one, and then we want to go. Uh, plus two units uh, upwards here to, to in positive y direction. And then after that, I would like to go uh, 1.5 units in x direction. Yeah? And uh, again, there we want to have a connection, an O circ we have to insert. And this point we call maybe P1 because later we will use that and we don't want to give any labeling to that for the time being. So now we can compile this. And now again here I forgot plus plus in front, uh, then it will give an error. And then you will see here now we have our uh, circuit connection uh, goes via a resistor into the collector of our transistor. However, what you see here is that we have the zigzag line for a resistor, uh, which is I think typical uh, typical for, uh, for the US to do it in such a way. However, because I'm in Europe, uh, I would like to um, define here this variable European for ticks picture. And when you do that, this is a global variable actually, which you set, then this is uh, valid for the whole circuit. Then you can see now this resistor is replaced with a rectangular box. But it totally depends on your choice uh, and what you think is more beautiful. I actually like this one also a little bit more than the zigzag line. Okay, so um, yeah, this is only, uh, as I said, one possibility how to do that. And now I would like to draw another line to the collector and this time to the right. So, um, okay, maybe we, we do it also here below that um, as the one before. T collector uh, and then um, here I would like to go 1.50 in x direction. And there again I would like to make a connection um, O circ. And uh, this point I will call P3. No, sorry, this I will call P2. And again, I don't want to choose any labeling for that. So now we have here our connector and the wire. And because we have here a connection of two wires, we have to insert here a um, fill circle. And for that, we write here um, uh, behind that node circ. And again, we don't want to insert any labeling, so we have to insert this empty uh, curly brackets again. Okay, so now this is also done. And now we go one line below that. And now we will make actually one connection to the emitter. And this we will do very similar. We go now um, from here, uh, minus one, also in minus, uh, minus one in y direction. And there, Again, we have to insert a circ and also a node which we just call E. 
because we will also use this later. And uh, so we have a name for that already. And then we want to go maybe, uh, uh, sorry, then we want to go plus 1.50 in X direction again. And there we want to create another O circ and this we call P3 again without any labeling. And now you see we have here our uh, line going down. There's here our circle, then it goes to the right and we have our connection here and this point here where this uh, field circle is, this is our point E. Yeah, and this is important because now from this point E uh, center, yeah, as I have explained already before, we want to go uh, plus plus minus 2.5 in X direction. And now we write here O circ because again we want to create a connection without any labeling. And when we do this now we go here from this point E to the left and there we have this uh, unfilled circle. Okay, this is in principle our, um, our circuit and you see that with just a few lines which we have added here, uh, you can make very beautiful, nice uh, drawings. Um, maybe it's a little bit complicated to keep all the um, all the, uh, the yeah positions in in mind. Uh, but for that purpose, you could also just create a grid with ticks, and then you could align your uh, yeah parts according to that as you as you feel comfortable. But now, what I would also like to show is how to add some more labeling to that. Yeah. So let's suppose we want to create some arrows and. For that, we use draw LaTeX as we have do done it before. And then maybe we want to draw an arrow here from 0, 0 to uh, mm, minus 1.8 in Y direction. And um, yeah, now you see here when we compile this, we have here this arrow. So we want to have uh, a midway node shown on the left, the labeling. And we call that maybe U1, this voltage. Yeah? So now we have here our arrow plus the labeling U1. Um, however, as you see, uh, it's maybe not so beautiful to go from this one uh, circle to the other one. We want to shift it maybe a little bit to the left. So what we can do here is, uh, this is a trick in ticks. So within this uh, definition of the node here, of the coordinates, you can write X shift equals minus two millimeters. So we shift the whole arrow now two millimeter to the left. And this was wrong, of course, because we have to do it not here. We have to do it already here. Um, and uh, sorry, we have to do it here in the first zero zero. And here we have to write plus plus. So we want to uh, take this shift over to this one here. Yeah. So we shift it two millimeter to the left, go to zero zero and then go uh, 1.8 centimeter in negative Y direction. Yeah? And in order to practice this a little bit more, we do this also for the other points that we have defined. So we can write, for example, um, draw uh, LaTeX from, from um, P2 center. This we have defined before, as you remember, to P3 center. And again, we want to have a midway no uh, labeling. Uh, and we want to show this on the left side and we call that maybe uh, U2 or U3, for example, also. Um, and uh, then, as you can see here, we have now our labeling U3. And again, we go from one circle to the other. So I would like to shift this uh, by two millimeter to the right in X direction. And here again, we have to write this uh, two millimeter to the right and now we have our nice arrow and uh, yeah now we want to create just one more um, this one can even do by heart now um, and this we would like to shift maybe four millimeter to the right uh, from p1 center should be the correct one to uh, p3 center and again note midway and here we want to have the label on the right side and this we call maybe u2 and if we do this correctly yeah here we also have to insert a shift of course x shift equals uh, four millimeter and here of course uh, not left but here we have to insert latex yeah so now we have here our arrow from from this point to this point and u2 on the right so now we also make sure that this whole circuit fits into our 
page. Okay, yeah, and I think this is a quite nice uh, drawing which we created. So as you see, with just a few lines which we have added here, you can make very beautiful uh, circuits. And uh, this is only meant as an introduction again, of course. So you will find a circuit circuit ticks um, uh, manual in the internet you, where you find um, yeah a compendium of all the parts that you can create, different parameters, variables that you can set to make it even more beautiful. And uh, yeah, so you have symbols for everything, for diodes, for solar panels, for um, switches and so on. So there is no limit in principle and every part which you can imagine you can you can find or even I think you can easily create your own ones if you have a special one which is not included and uh, inserted there. And this is of course much easier than layout programs like Eagle or Pulsonics or I don't know what kind of... Um, uh, programs are available. Yeah. So for the time being, uh, I think I can close here. So I hope that you learned something new. I hope that you liked the video. If yes, then please hit the like button. Please um, subscribe my channel if you have not done so far. And uh, if you have any further question, of course, as I said, put it into the comment section and then hopefully see you soon for a new video.